India's opposition vows to keep raising questions about Adani group after spokesperson arrested. Bharatiya Janata Party supporters protest against Congress leader Pawan Kera for allegedly inserting Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi, India on February 21, 2023. New Delhi CNN when dozens of security personnel crowded onto the runway of New Delhi's Indra, Indira Gandhi Airport on th Thursday, it was not to capture a terrorist or fleeing criminal mastermind or even to apprehend an unruly pa passenger. It was to arrest the opposition politician who had allegedly disturbed the harmony by misstating the Prime Minister's middle name. Pawan Kera, the spokesperson for the Congress party, had been on his way to his party's national convention when he was forced off his plane and arrested by police. His allegedly crime, disturbing communal harmony by making a jibe on Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, whom he had referred to on live TV last week as Narendra Gautam Das Modi in reference to embattled the business magnate Gautam Adani. Adani, seen as a close ally of Modi and one of the wealthiest people in the world saw his net worth halved in less than two weeks last month after the report by a person financial research firm Hindenburg leveled the allegations of stock market manip manipulation and fraud against the Adani group. The Adani group condemned the report as baseless and malicious. Police from the state of Assam said they had deployed a team to New Delhi to arrest Kara for questioning about after a case was registered on Wednesday for his object objectionable remarks about the Prime Minister. Kara was trying to disturb the communal harmony in society, according to sections of the Indian panel under criminal conspiracy. Pran Prasanta Kumar Buyan, a Assam police spokesperson, told the CNN. But the arrest of Kara has set the stage for the dramatic showdown between India's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, called the BJP, and the Congress Party, which has accused the government of a sip stifling dissent in the world's largest democracy of 1.3 billion people. Scores of Congress politicians responded to the arrest by sitting on the airstrip, airstrip in protest. Kara was released hours later after India's Supreme Court ordered him to be released on interim bail. But his, his brief belief Detention set up a media frenzy in the country, dominated prime time news and headlines. Speaking to reporters after his release on Thursday, Kara said he was asked to deplane as if it was a I was a terrorist. This is not the only example of people's rights and the liberties being curtailed. curtailed. Today is me, tomorrow it could be anyone, he said. Congress member Spriya Sirinate, who was traveling with Kara at the time of his arrest, added, If this isn't tyranny, then what is? The Congress party said in a statement that Kara's arrest was undemocratic and arbitrary, adding, We vehemently opposed his dicta dictatorial behavior. This courage is not going to deter us from raising questions about the Adani group and its alleged ties to Modi, he said. CNN has contacted the BJP national spokesperson for the comment, but has not yet had a response. 
Speaking to India News Channel NDTV late Thursday, the BJP Chief Minister of Assam, Himanta Biswa Sarma, said the police had authorized to arrest Kara. Kara's arrest comes weeks after the country banned the documentary from the BBC that was critical from the Prime Minister's alleged role in deadly riot more than 20 years ago. Indian tax authorities ra- raided the BBC's offices in New Delhi and Mumbai earlier this month, citing irreg- irregularities and discrepancies in the BBC's taxes. The BBC depended each demo- documentary and said it was comp- complying with the tax investigation. Sa- days before Kara's arrest, Sarma the Assam chief minister had warned that there would be consequences to his remark about Modi. India will not forget or forgive these horrible remarks of a congressman. He wrote on Twitter on Monday, CNN has not been a, a, his, CNN has not yet been able to reach Kara and his lawyers.